So I was going to film another music night video for you guys, but you guys know what that means. I play a record right now in front of you and give you my immediate aftermath thought back, but I don't have a record player down there, so I couldn't do that. And I wanted to come down here and film the video because I've got an empty house. So I thought, what should I do? Well, show you guys my Who vinyl collection. So hello and yes, welcome back to another video guys. Now then today it's another pretty exciting one because we're going over a complete collection by another artist who I have finally become complete on. Well, I've actually been complete on them for quite a while now. I just um, have been putting this video off for a while because generally I don't know the most about this band and I'm not even sure if these albums are all in the right order. But anyway, I have a massive stack here of Who Records basically and I am certain that I own all of their studio albums um, there's probably a couple things missing in here, live albums and other bits and bobs like that. But um, generally I do have all their studio albums. Also have a bit on their solo careers and a couple other cool things to show you guys. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So then, um, the Who vinyl collection. The Who, of course, very famous um, uh, British rock band that kind of uh, came about during the British Invasion. Um, 1965 was their debut album of course they come about just around the time you know the Beatles have been about um, you know we had the Kinks also um, it wouldn't be long till Zeppelin would come about the Stones were about you know we have all these really cool British bands coming in and of course the Who fit right in there perfectly they are one of these great British invasion bands which sounded fantastic so anyway this was their debut album of course my generation and we all know the track my generation and we all know it is a fantastic track um, this album here also had The Kids All Right on, which is a really good track, but other than that, uh, just a pretty, pretty good, solid um, debut album. Not too much to it. This is a 80s pressing, I believe, in mono, which is cool. Um, so yeah, of course, um, there we go, there's that one, not really much to say. Pop that one just behind me there. And then, of course, here I have the 25th. 15, I think it is, 2015 or 2016, I'm pretty sure it's 15, but it might be 16, uh, reissue of A Quick One, which is a um, pretty good solid Who album here, really nice. Um, so let's have a look at this one, what we got on here? Um, t -t 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 <clears throat> I don't really know too many on here, I, know, I like the track Don't Look Away, I remember that one. At the record, really nice when they're still in shrink like that. I think they look really nice records. Uh, oh, pretty plain inside, really. They have replicate the original label, which is good, but nothing else in there. Yeah, there's that one. Don't really know too much about this album. I've played it a couple times, and yeah, semi I enjoyed it. Not my favourite album, but not one of my least favourite albums, that's for sure. Yeah, there's that one. And here we got a really good album. I really like this one. Uh, we've got the Who Sellout, which is a really good album, actually. I really enjoyed this one. Love the cover on it. Really funny. Um, yeah. Really, really, I really enjoyed the music on this one. And, um, I just love the artwork on this one, really. Makes me laugh. Um, and then this one, you actually get, ooh, you get a poster with it, I think. You can tell I haven't looked at these in a while. Oh, okay, fair enough. You get a poster of some sort. Oh, it goes this way up, I think. Don't know. Don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's nice to have. And here's the replicated track record label. Um, I can see for Miles is on here. Of course, we all know that song. That's a really good song. Um... Not a bad album there, Couple, some good tracks on there. I, I do remember enjoying this album a lot, and um, yeah, probably definitely the best Who album so far, I think. For best of their first three early albums, because after this album, that was it, the Who... What am I doing? I've got to put the poster inside the jacket. <laughs> um, of course, after this album, the Who really started to change a bit. Um, these are kind of the early three, kind of 60s sounding, very... Uh, easy listening records, and then from here on out, that's it. The Who were kind of a bit of a new band, really. 
um, started to grow up a bit, I guess, musically. Uh, but of course, before we get there, we have Live at Leeds. This is an original pressing with all the inserts and all the bits and bobs. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty lucky to have that. And then here we get one of the best albums ever. I love this record. We get Tommy by The Who. Um, I really need an upgrade copy on this. I'd love to get a remastered one, but um, uh, my copy still plays fine. It's just the artwork, the cover isn't in great condition. But anyway, this album has a load of great tracks. You've got It's a Boy, uh, 1921, um, Christmas, Cousin Kevin, um, Pimble Wizard, um, Sally Simpson, I'm Free. You know, the backstory behind this is not good at all. It's about, you know, basically a deaf, dumb and blind kid going through all these problems and stuff. I'm not going to get into the story here because we'll save that for another video. But, um, you know, it's a very, very interesting album. And it's very, very clever album. And, yeah, I love this album. It's great. It's a double vinyl. I love the artwork. The music is great. It's a great sound for the Who there. Then we get Tommy Part 1 on a single vinyl. And then we get Part 2 on another vinyl as well. And if you think they're done at Tommy there, they're not. Because you have the original soundtrack which is featuring a lot of other artists, including Eric Clapton, Keith Moon, um, Elton John. So yeah, there's a there's a lot of other tracks on here, uh, a lot of artists on here. You've got Tina Turner as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool, double vinyl. And then, of course, we also have Tommy uh, with the London Symphony Orchestra. Um, and this one's pretty cool. It's like a nice little mini box set kind of deal. Really nice this bit slides out like so. And then, oh, you get all the you get a nice big book in there, which is nice. You get double vinyl, which is pretty cool. Don't know who's on here off the top of my head. Uh, got Rod Stewart, Ringo Starr. So yeah, at the minute, I think I'm leaning to the soundtrack one a bit more. But um, yeah, it's nice to have. That's pretty cool. Get this. So you want to squeeze this one back in its box. It's a bit tight, this one. Oh, hang on. There we go. Okay, so now that is it for Tommy, I believe. <laughs> I mean, hey, if any album deserves to get a lot of attention, it Tommy is one of them, so... Not going to complain too much there. Yeah. We get uh, Meaty Beaty Big and Bouncy, the compilation next. I know them soundtracks, by the way, come out. Some of them come out in 1970. I've just grouped them all together because, you know, they're all based off one album. But anyway, uh, Meaty Big and Beaty Bouncy here. Um, really good compilation. I really like that. And then I also have a US pressing of it uh, because it's actually quite different with the title being embossed. It's a lot thicker card, which... I don't like as much. Well, I'm, you know, being in the UK, I'm used to the UK pressings of all these early records. I kind of like them looking older and more flimsy card instead of this kind of thicker, harder card. But anyway, um, no big deal. Doesn't matter really. Probably my second favourite Who album here. Who's next? Um, just a classic album with Baby O'Reilly and Won't Get Fooled Again. Um, fantastic. And then you've got tracks on here like My Wife. Uh, getting in tune, um, some really good tracks on here, so yeah. And then here is probably my favourite Who album, I love this one, Quadrophenia, this is really cool, I bought this one in the big H&V shop in London, still got the original price sticker on £25, uh, but anyway, this is really cool, you get um, The Real Me, uh, Quadrophenia, um, The Dirty Jobs, 515, which is great, Bell Boy, Love Ray, o Love Ray O Me, <laughs> um, yeah, great album, love it, can't go wrong there at all, um, and here we get, this is where the Who slowly starts to decline a bit, um, the Who by Numbers, um, numbered edition, and there's a number on there somewhere, oh here it is, it's on the back, but yeah, it's kind of hard to find a copy of this where someone hasn't drawn over the cover, but anyway, uh, this one's got squeeze box on, which I like. But other than that, pretty easy going album. Not great. And then kind of similar feelings towards this one. Um, Who are you? Where well, really, I only like the title track. But the rest are okay. They're not, they're not bad. They're just not very good either. They're just pretty average songs in my opinion. Um, but yeah, um, I like this album. It's still pretty good. It's very fun. Last album with Keith Moon, of course. Very sad. Um, but yeah, good album. 
Then here I have a compilation which has some live stuff on as well called The Kids Are Alright. Which is pretty cool. Um, quite a few bits on here, some good tracks. Magic Buzz, I really like that one. So yeah. And then of course they put out their first album without Keith Moon. Um, which I have actually reviewed in depth because it was requested, I believe. Or I might have just picked it at random. I just wanted to talk about an album I'm not a fan of, maybe. <laughs> uh, we get face dances. Um, yeah, I, I'm not a fan on this album. It's okay. I, you know, I think it scored a 4.7 or something like that out of 10 on my album review. And I say anything below a 5 is not good. Anything above a 5 is good. 4.7, just below average. So I, I would, I, I'll be fair. I'll say this is a pretty average album. There's a couple good tracks on here I like. Um, I really like, um, of course, You Bet It, You Bet It, You Bet. That's a really good song. So there's a couple really good ones on here. And then two more albums from The Who and the last two really were duds, dare I say. I'm sorry to the fans of this album because I know it's got some fans. Um, but for me, I really don't like these last two albums. So we get It's Hard by The Who. I found in the pound bin. I'm not even sure it's worth that. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Not very, uh, not very good. Uh, the, uh, well, actually, I shouldn't really say anything about this album here, because this album here I actually haven't heard in its entirety. I've just heard a couple songs of it. And actually, as I said in the intro, I was thinking of doing a music night video, but I didn't do it because, you know, I need a turntable. I got the house free, so I wanted to film the video downstairs. I haven't got a turntable downstairs, so I decided to film this video instead of the music night one. But this is actually one of the albums I was planning to listen to in the Music Night video. Because I haven't heard it in its entirety. And that is Endless Wire. So ev everyone loves to slate this album. The odd couple tracks I've heard off it aren't very good. So I have a feeling I'm not going to like it. But anyway, I shouldn't say too much because I haven't really heard it in its entirety. But we'll find out in my next Music Night video because this one will be up in it. Um, so yeah, The Who's last album. And I don't think they'll be back with another album somehow. Um, but anyway, that is it for The Who. But anyway, I've got another couple items I'm going to show. Um, I have a nice triple vinyl set here on blue vinyl of The Who live at the Isle of Wight Festival in 1970. It's pretty cool. They pretty much do all of Tommy there. Well, not all of it. They do the standout Tommy tracks there all in one go. So that's really cool. And as I say, it is on blue vinyl. Does it say on here? Special. Yep, blue vinyl right there. So that's pretty cool. Pretty fun. And here we've got the thing that I done with Jimi Hendrix, the back track. This is number four. Yeah, I need to get the others, but I'm in no rush. Solo careers don't have much really. Um, I got one Pete Townsend record, and I quite like this one actually. This is quite good. Um, yeah, Empty Glass, pretty good album. Don't mind that one. And then for Roger Daltrey, I have actually I've got four. I've got four, so I'm not doing too bad on Roger Daltrey. Um, I have the self-titled. Which is actually a good album. I like this one. Very good album. Um, Ride a Rock Horse, which again, not too bad. Don't mind this album. This one's pretty good as well. Um, and um, Russ Ballard writes a load of tracks on here. And for those of you who don't know, I am actually related to him somehow. Uh, so that's pretty cool for me. Bit of sentimental feeling there. And then we got this track here Under a Raging Moon. Um, yeah, this one's not very good. This one's not very good. Um, really could live without this album. And then, of course, we get his new album with um, uh, with um, uh, Wilco Johnson, of course, who's um, um, you know semi-famous in the music world. Kind of just recently taken off a bit in the um, film industry because he's been starring in the first couple seasons of Game of Thrones. Um, but yeah, he's slowly dying, and it's really sad. But anyway, here he is with Roger Daltrey on Going Back Home, which is actually quite a good album. It's not great, it's not great, but it's actually quite good considering, um, you know, Roger Daltrey, you know, really just stood up in, at the front of the Who singing. You know, he's a good singer, but, um, you know, it's his solo work is always a bit of a risk, I think. But he really shines on this album. Wilco Johnson is amazing. Love Wilco Johnson, so... Uh, really good album there. But anyway, that is one well truly it for the Who collection. Didn't take that long because um, generally I don't know too much about the Who as a man. I'm not the biggest Who fan, I can't lie. Um, but maybe I'll come back and do an album ranking when I've heard The Endless Wire as well. Because it'd be interesting to rank their albums. I know Ross Goodall's done a good ranking of their albums. Um, so maybe I'll do um, I'll do that 
maybe in a couple months or so once I'm a bit more familiar with them. Um, but anyway, that is it for the vinyl collection, The Who. If you haven't checked out The Who, I've got to recommend Tommy, Who's Next, and Quadrophenia. Them three albums are brilliant. Anyone who says anything bad about them albums, I don't know what's going through your brain, mate. Um, but anyway, them three albums are must have in any vinyl collector's collection. And yeah. That's it. Thank you for watching, guys, and please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a message, and I'll see you next time.